Good day, Julians. Welcome back to our lesson discussion. So today, we are going to learn about variations of sound. But before that, let us have first our lesson's objectives. So our first objective is that you have to distinguish vocal and instrumental sounds. Second, identify orally and visually the different instruments. And then last, categorize instruments according to the sounds. Okay, again, we are going to learn about variations of sound. But before that, let us start first with a prayer. So I request everyone to close your eyes, bow your heads, and let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for this day. Thank you, Lord, for the life of these students. Lord, we ask for your help, for your guidance as we go through our lesson. Lord, please provide us with your wisdom and knowledge. We entrust to you the rest of the lesson. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so bef before we start with our lesson discussion, let us have first the game, Guess the Sound. So you are going to listen on what I'm going to play, and then you are just going to identify what sound is it. Are you ready? Very good. Let us start with the first sound. <laughs> Did you hear that? What is it? Very good. It is a sound of a rooster. How about this one? Very good. It is a sound of a train. Next, how about this one? What do you think is this? Very good. It is a sound of a girl who is humming. How about this one? I believe that you are all familiar with this sound. Very good. It is a sound of your pet cat. And then for the last one, we have this one. What is that? Very good. It is a sound of a piano. So every day we hear different kinds of sounds. And the way we describe how a sound is heard is based on one element of music called timbre. Are you familiar with this? Very good. So when we say timbre, it allows us or it allows you to differentiate types of human voice and difference of sounds between two instruments playing the same pitch and volume. It also helps us to recognize the characteristics such as smoothness, thickness, or lowness of a sound. Or simply, the meaning of timbre is the quality of sounds. Now, let us proceed with this. Vocal music and timbre. The vocal timbre is usually determined by a person's gender. So we have here the female voice and the male voice. And the highest vocal range for the female voice is what we call soprano. While for the male voice, it is called tenors. And... The lowest vocal range for female voice is alto, while for the boys it is called bass. So now, let us proceed to instrumental music. So instrumental music does not have any lyrics and is not sung but played by a musical instrument, like the sound you are hearing right now. It is an instrumental music for Amazing Grease. Now that we know what is the meaning of instrumental music, let us now proceed to the musical instruments. 
Musical instruments fall into four types according to how they produce sounds. So we have here the following. First is the stringed instrument. Second is the woodwind instruments. Third, brass wind instruments. And then last is the percussion instrument. So let us start with the stringed instruments. Instruments that belong to this family are usually played by strumming, plucking, or bowing. String instruments produce sound by vibrating strings. So we have five string instruments. First is the violin. The violin is the baby of the string family, and like babies, they make the highest sound. You play the violin by resting it between your chin and left shoulder. Your left hand holds the neck of the violin and presses down on the strings to change the pitch, while your right hand moves the bow or plucks the string. So here is a sample of a violin playing the song of Amazing Grace. Next, we have what we call viola. Viola is the older sister or brother of the violin. It is slightly larger, just over 2 feet long, and has thicker strings, which produce a richer, warmer sound than the violin. You play the viola the same way as you do the violin. So, let us hear a sample of a viola. Okay, next we have what we call cello. Cello looks like the violin and viola but much bigger and has thicker strings than either the violin or viola. Of all the string instruments, the cello sounds most like a human voice and it can make a wide variety of tones from warm low pitches to bright higher notes. So here is a sample. Okay, next we have here the harp. The harp is different from the other string instruments. You play the harp sitting down with your legs on either side, with the neck of the harp leaning on your right shoulder. Each string sounds a different note. They come in different colors to help you tell one from another. And you play them by plucking the strings with your fingertips and thumb. Attached to the bottom of the harp are seven foot pedals which change the pitch of each string and allow them to sound the pitches of the black keys on the piano. So let us hear the sound of a harp. Okay, for the last one, we have the guitar. So I think we are all familiar with this. So the guitar is the most known and widely used stringed instrument. It is played by plucking or strumming its strings. So here is a sample. So again, here's the family of string instruments, violin, viola, cello, harp, and guitar. Now let us proceed to woodwind instrument. First, we have what we call the flute. The flute is known to produce pitch sound. It is played by blowing across its mouthpiece. The fingers opened and closed to produce a pitch. Next, we have what we call piccolo. Piccolo is shorter version of the flute. A piccolo is usually seen in drum corps and marching bands. Next, we have what we call a bow. 
A bow uses a double reed in its mouthpiece. You use both hands to press down the piece of an oboe, and just like the flute, the fingers that open and close the holes changes its pitch. An oboe produces a variety of pitches. Next, we have what we call the clarinet. The clarinet uses a single reed and comes in different sizes. It plays both melodies and harmonies. The low sound the low sound it produces is dark and rich while the upper range of the clarinet makes a bright and resonant sound. For the last one, we have what we call the bassoon. The bassoon is a long pipe doubled in half made of wood with many keys. Like the above, the bassoon uses a double reed which is fitted into a curved metal mouthpiece. The bassoon usually play the harmonies in a music. Now, let us hear the sounds of the family of the woodwind instruments. The Woodwind Family Flute Piccolo Bassoon Clarinet Saxophone The Woodwind Family Now, let us proceed to the family of the brass winged instruments. First, we have what we call the trumpet. The trumpet is the smallest instrument that plays the highest pitches. A trumpet is played by buzzing lips into the mouth and pressing the three valves to change pitch. Next, we have what we call the French horn. The French horn produces a variety of sounds from very loud to very soft. It is a spiral-shaped instrument with a large bell at its end. Next, we have what we call the trombone. The trombone is the only instrument that uses a slide instead of vibes to change pitch. And then for the last, we have what we call tuba. The tuba is the largest and lowest pitch brass wind instrument. It produces a deep, rich sound. Let us hear the sound of the brass wind family. The Brass Family French Horn
Tuba. Trumpet. Sousaphone. The Brass Family. For the last family of instruments that we have, we have what we call the percussion instruments. First, we have the xylophone. A xylophone has wooden keys arranged like the keys of the piano. Xylophones produce a bright bell-like sound. Next, we have cymbals. Cymbals are two large metal discs made of bronze. Cymbals are used to accent reading, add excitement, drama, or create other sound effects. Third, we have what we call the snare drum. A snare drum is an untuned drum. It has no distinct pitch. They are used to keep rhythm and create special effects. Drums are played by using sticks. Next, for the last one, we have the bass drum. The bass drum creates the lowest sounds. Both sides of the drum may be struck by a mallet, covered with soft materials. So let us hear the sound of the family of the percussion instruments. The Percussion Family Xylophone Snare Drum Symbols Bass drum The percussion family There are lots of percussion family. If you want to watch the whole video, you can watch it on the provided link. So that's it. As a review, we have learned today about the variations of sound. First, we have learned about the definition of timbre. Second, the vocal music. And then last, the four types of instruments. First, we have the string instruments. Second, the woodwind instrument. Third, the brass wind instruments. And the last is the percussion instrument. As we close, I want to leave this Bible first. Psalm 105 verse 2. Sing to him, sing praise to him, tell about all the wonderful things he has done. 
God has done and will continue to do great things in the lives of those who loved Him. Our immediate response to Him is lifting up grateful hands and singing a song of praise. So that's it for today, Julians. Thank you for listening. I hope that you learned something new today. God bless and stay safe.